Welcome to this video quantum conversation. I'm Loren Gailey, and today I am joined by the co-founder of Accelerated Light Healing, Makaya Miracle. We're talking about the sixth dimension, seven dimension, ascension activation, and this takes us off planet to other beings, galactic beings. We're going to learn all about that. Let's welcome Makaya Miracle to Quantum Conversations. Hi, Makaya. Welcome back. Hi, Loren. I'm so excited to play today. Yes, it's so excited to see you here as well. We're going to have a beautiful activation. But first, let's talk about you and Accelerated Light Healing. For those who are unfamiliar with your work, share a little bit about what this is. It, it truly is embodiment in a, in a big way. But as we get into uh, embodiment, some density needs to be cleared out. So share with us a little bit about your work here in this field. I would love to. I, I've been studying and practicing energy healing every day for the last 13 years. And I've learned so many different systems. I've channeled many, many systems. And what I found out was when Accelerated Light Healing came through about five and a half years ago, the changes I could get 13 years ago in two hours Fast forward another six years, I could get those changes in the amount of 45 minutes. Fast forward another couple of years, I could get those changes in 10 minutes. With accelerated light healing, I could get the same amount of change in 10 seconds. So as you were just talking about clearing density, like accelerated light healing clears old beliefs, emotional density, just like that. It's beautiful to be able to go through this healing so quickly. We know that it's not easy, but really um, being centered in the heart's really what's going on is what's going on here, right? Uh, and that's powerful. Yeah, you know, we've been taught from a very young age that life is supposed to be dead and hard and you need to work hard and you need to do things like everybody else. And you've seen, you've probably seen density, maybe in your parents, maybe in your family, friends, coworkers, just in society in general. So you've decided that that is the normal way of being. But what if it's not? What if the normal way of being is this totally light vibration that we used to embody when we lived in different planets, different star systems. And, and at some level, you have a remembrance of that. And that's why you're focused on this spiritual path, on this spiritual journey, because you know there's something better, something easier, where your manifestations happen like that, where your life is created in every moment from bliss. And so that is the possibility I'm inviting you today. Step beyond those limitations that you've seen and have decided are real as reality and create something new for yourself and the entire planet. Yes. All right. So it's really being in the bliss, in the moment, creating from that bliss in this moment. This energy is all around us. And so you really help people in um, really aligning with that and you know, accelerating this light healing, this embodiment of light healing. Very cool. You also just spoke of life on different star systems and the remembrance of this. This light carries information and that's where the memories are. Can you talk a little bit about your own personal awareness of lives that you've spent on other planets? <laughs> <laughs> That's a wonderful question. Nobody's ever asked me that before. <laughs> um, you know, I was, I was in a healing class back in 2010. And we were taking these journeys to um, different planets, different star systems. And we went to the Pleiades. And when we got there, I instantly, I broke down crying. I just like shattered into tears. <laughs> and the facilitator was like, why are you crying? I'm like, well, manifestation, everything's so easy there. Manifestation happens instantly. And I 
feel that and I remember that. I know that and everything is so slow on this planet. Ah! <laughs> but it was this true remembrance of life as, an, as blissful connection and mastery, not only in connection with others, but connection with infinite source. And knowing that you have infinite power create your reality and that you have mastery over that. And if something's not working, you can change it. And if there's something you want, you can have it. You just go into the feeling state of it, set an intention, and it shows up. And with the tools of accelerated light healing, we can create that more and more on this planet. And it expands every day. <laughs> this is really the journey of the star seed as we remember our heritage, let's say, um, that's important because it allows us to feel free on this planet to do what it is that we came to do. And so let's talk a little bit about star seeds and the migration of humanity across the universe, across the galaxy, really, in our galaxy. Uh, first, let's talk about star seeds. What is your definition? of a star seed? Well, a star seed, from an earthly perspective, would be a being that has had lifetimes in different um, star systems, planets, galaxies, that have come to the earth plane, do exactly what I said, create life the way that they lived it on their planet, create that here create those types of relationships, those types of ways of being, those types of manifestation, those types of bliss, connection, knowing of oneness, and infinite power. So we can transform this planet into a heaven on earth. Yes, I know that resonates with uh, all who are listening. And when we each tune into our reason for being here, it does take us into off-planet situations and remembrances and so you remembered that your tears in that experience of going to the Pleiades and feeling that that was a feeling on a cellular level in your beingness so I just love that that's a key indicator for us to really honor and own that knowledge so we're going to go into a 6D and a 7D activation in our program today, and that's going to take us to a couple of different remembrances. You'll tell us more about that. But first, let's talk about the different places in our galaxy where star seeds are most likely to come from. Yes. Yeah. So let's work our way up. So fifth dimension, the beings that oversee the fifth dimension are the Pleiadian emissaries of light, beings from the Pleiades. And then moving up to the sixth dimension, fifth dimension is the realm of infinite love, infinite now, it's where the ascended masters live. Moving up to the sixth dimension, the beings that oversee that realm are the Syrian Archangelic League of the Light, the beings from Syria, who are also... They're, they're cat people. So if you look at the Sphinx, that's a representation of being, of being from Sirius, which is really weird because Sirius is actually called the dog star. So it's interesting that there's cat people there. <laughs> um, but these, these beings from Sirius, they hold poses that radiate and resonate and vibrate a certain energetic frequency because the sixth dimension is the realm of light color and sacred geometry and if you look at sacred geometry sacred geometry vibrates a certain energy that raises your vibration brings you back into harmony and wholeness with infinite source and if you've ever looked at a cat the cat spends a lot of time like stretched out into these poses like this or like the sinks, <laughs> you know? And what they're doing is they're vibrating that energy that radiates sacred geometric patterns and, and the energy of that onto the planet to help raise our vibration, to help heal us, to help hold that energy of transformation. And so do the beings from Syria. 
We're going to the seventh dimension. The seventh dimension is the, I call it the music of our galaxy, the feeling tone of our galaxy. And what I mean by that is you look at the law of attraction. Law of attraction says feeling plus intention equals manifestation. Our galaxy is created no differently. Everything in our universe and beyond is created through the law of attraction. <laughs> so our galaxy, the seventh dimension is the feeling tone of that. When you listen to a song, it evokes a feeling in you. You listen to a different song, it evokes a different feeling. So the seventh dimension is the feeling tone, the music, the song of our entire galaxy. <laughs> and the beings that oversee this realm are the Andromedan intergalactic beings of light. Moving up to the eighth dimension. The eighth dimension is the energy of the intention for our galaxy. Why our galaxy was created. And so when the intention from the eighth dimension combines with the feeling tone, the music, the song of the seventh dimension, it literally brings our galaxy into existence. So the eighth dimension is overseen by the Orion elders of the Brotherhood of Light. Moving up to the ninth dimension. The ninth dimension is really the energy portal, vortex, and older together of our galaxy. <laughs> so it's kind of where our galaxy was birthed. And it's the black hole at the center of our galaxy. This realm is overseen by the Andromeda, uh, sorry, the Arcturian and emissaries of the light for a very technologically advanced race. And the Lyrans would be the, the last one on this list, and they're from the 11th dimension. The 11th dimension is the embodiment of the divine feminine. It is the energy of the divine feminine. So this is kind of where all of our genetic material for all the races that I just mentioned and our race, the human race, has stemmed from, from the 11th dimension, from the Lyrans, and they populated, literally populated our entire galaxy <laughs> with, with life, with bodies that us as, as spirit souls become into to play and create in these worlds. Okay, well, it's fascinating that this energy of the Divine Feminine coming from the 11th dimension, uh, it's amazing that it's Lyran. So we know the story, the Lyrans destroyed themselves. Can you talk a little bit about this? I would love to hear your awarenesses on that, Loren. Did the, did the Lyran planet destroy itself? I guess in some understanding, um, I was aware of that from a reading somewhere. It could be false or, or not right, but I, I don't know if that's correct or not. I have actually not heard that. I still, I still connect with the Lyrans in, their, in their, their realm of existence. They so, still exist, yes, they still exist. But the planet... Interesting. What I can say is that I, um, we talked about the fifth through the 11th dimensions. Let's talk about the fourth dimension, which is the astral realm. So in the astral realm, the astral plane, it is an imagery screen of everything that has happened, is happening, and will happen um, in our universe. And also infinite possibilities that can stem from that. So what I mean by that is if, if we look at what's being called the mandala effect on our planet, 
there was a shift with the particle accelerator at CERN that when these particles collided, it literally, you know, some people say it destroyed our universe. I don't really think that's what happened. I think it just jumped us into a different, a different, uh, a different universe, uh, or a different expression of our universe. And we've seen little changes happen going backwards, but when we talk about planets exploding and planets being destroyed and star systems being wiped out, like usually when people talk about that, they're channeling from the fourth dimension, the astral plane, which doesn't always give us a clear picture of what's happening in our universe that's relevant to us in this time. So in one, you know, parallel reality, what you're talking about, Learn planet could have been destroyed. Probably was. Mm -hmm. In another reality, it's still there and functioning and alive. So when we look at channelings, it's really important to tune in to your body and see what makes you feel light and expansive and what doesn't really feel aligned in your body, maybe tight and contracted like you want to puke. Because channelings are amazing sources of information. I love it. I used to channel a lot. I do in my classes sometimes. But we got to look where the information is coming from because if you channel from the fifth dimension or higher, you're getting a clear picture of what's, what is relevant to us in our time, in our universe. When you channel the fourth dimension, you might be getting information from a lot of different places and a lot of people who channel are not aware of, of the difference between those two levels of, of receiving information. It makes a lot of sense because as we tune into that, I know anyone who tunes into that notion of Lyra destroying itself, it's very sad and it doesn't feel good in the body. So very interesting. All right, let's, let's back up and talk a little bit more about CERN and the particle collider. When was that, that, that event with the CERN part, uh, particle collider that kind of shifted these timelines? Well, so it happened sometime last year. And what we know about it is that ever since that point, there have been changes showing up in, in what is literally recorded on <laughs> film, on printing, on boxes, of things that changed that don't match our memories of what actually happened. For example, yeah. uh, let's take for example the movie Star Wars. Now, I've seen the movie Star Wars, and I think in the last movie in the series, Luke Skywalker is fighting the evil villain in that movie, Darth Vader, if you haven't seen it. And right before Luke Skywalker is going to kill him, Darth Vader says, Luke, I am your father. Well, what I was made aware of a couple weeks ago is that that is not actually what's on the video. The video now says, no, I am your father. It says, <laughs> no, I am your father. Instead of Luke, I am your father. Yes, it's Luke, I am your father. I remember. Of course, we yeah. all knew that. <laughs> Everybody knows that. That's the, that's the pivotal line of Star Wars. But it's been changed. And you can say, well, I guess, uh, you know, Lucasfilms went and edited every single DVD and VHS that was ever made and changed that, <laughs> which makes absolutely no sense. Or you can see that changes are being made on a level that literally affected our entire timeline. Yes. Okay, so you, you, that is the Mandela effect that we've learned about recently, and it's, it's coming out and being explained. I had no idea that it was related to CERN. That is very interesting, really. Wow. It's what... From my understanding, and I'm not a physicist, <laughs> uh, 
when these particles collided, one of the particles literally jumped into the future, changed something, and came back. And because time is all one, you know, that rippled back into the past and into the future, which both affect our present. And so as we steer our consciousness and we navigate through these times, what is the role or the responsibility to really be empowered with our own timelines and creations? <laughs> That's a great question. I am not... I'm not a big fan of responsibility. I'm a big fan of bliss and joy. My question to you right. and everybody watching this is how can you how can you create your life in the most bliss and joy in every moment? Because you know, responsibility is like I have to work hard, I have to do this, I'm obligated to it. You're literally not obligated to anything. You are an infinite being with infinite choice. You get to choose your reality. What is it that you want to choose? The more bliss and joy you create for yourself in your life, the more that ripples out to the higher planet and changes everything and invites other people to choose that, which invites other people to choose that. And we just keep getting into more and more bliss and joy in every moment, which is what life is supposed to be. We forgot that. We were told it's not. And I would like to invite you to the possibility of shifting that and jumping into that right now. Yes, absolutely. It takes a lot of pressure off to know that, that we don't have to be so responsible. After all, this is a free will planet. And so really creating from bliss and joy. Okay, very good. All right, let's talk then about uh, an activation that you've got for us. When we're activating 60 and 70. Ah, well, the 60 and 70 Ascension activation, again, Sixth dimension is the realm of light, color, and sacred geometry. So we are aligning our vibration and energy with the energy of accelerated evolution in our spiritual bodies, in our physical body, in our DNA. Jumping ahead, moving faster than you would. If you didn't receive this activation. <laughs> and then the seventh dimensional activation, again, the seventh dimension is the feeling tone of our galaxy. You're going to connect with the remembrance of what, why you're here, but not on a mental level, on a feeling level. Like why our galaxy was created. That You're going to connect with the remembrance of that which will help you, you know, feel like, like you have purpose here. And not that you have to have a mental thing, but it's like, oh, I'm here because I'm supposed to create this feeling on this planet. <laughs> and you'll get a visceral experience of that. Mm. Okay. Well, then it would be a beautiful time to move into that activation right now, then. It's All right, let's do wonderful. it. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So what I'd like you to do is get really comfortable. Lean back in your chair. Don't want to be leaning forward. You don't want to be driving or operating any heavy machinery because there's a good chance that you're going to go out. And what I mean by that is that a lot of people think they're falling asleep, but you're not actually falling asleep. It's the energies are so high that the only way your body knows how to receive them is to turn your mind off. Just make sure you're comfortable uh, in a position where you're not going to fall out of your chair. <laughs> All right, just take a couple deep breaths and really sink into wherever you're at. <sighs> what I like to do is become aware of the energy that surrounds your body. Expand that energy 
the size of the room you're in. And then energy out to the size of the building you're in. And then energy out to the size of the city block you're on. Uh, and then energy out to the size of the city you're in. And then energy out to the size of the state or province you're in. And then energy out to the size of the country you're in. Uh, And then energy out to the size of the entire planet. Next, and then energy out to the size of the solar system. Uh, and then energy out to the size of the galaxy. And energy up to the size of the universe. And energy up to the size of the universe of universes. Uh, Extend energy all the way out to infinite consciousness. This place just Experience yourself as infinite. Uh... Beautiful. What I'd like you to do now is see a door with number six on it. You open the door. Step into it. Uh... Breathe and experience these energies. Just how they're kind of releasing some tension in your body. So high light vibration. Uh... We're going to start the six dimensional ascension. 
illumination. Just breathe. You can say out louder in your head, I will receive this. Ah. Keep breathing deeply, you're doing great. Uh, everywhere he resisted this, we're just going to clear it out now. Uh, Ah. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Tying to sixth dimensional realm. Syrian archangelic lead the light. Amazing illumination. I'd like if you see a doorway with number six on it. Step out of the doorway. Close the door behind you. I'd like you to take a couple deep breaths here. Oh. 
I'd like you to see a door with number seven on it. Open the door. Step into it. Uh, this is the seventh dimensional realm, the harmonics of creation, thought of our galaxy. Just breathe and receive these energies. mentioned it's also the intergalactic highways of light which allows us to exchange information between the galaxy. So we see that energy now. Ah. Right. And start dimensional ascension illumination. Before we do that, what I'd like you to do is ask the seventh dimension. Ask what is what is the reason our galaxy was created? What is the reason it exists? Just receive that energy. It may, but it most likely won't come in the form of words or symbols. Maybe it's feeling, maybe it's sound. Maybe some color that evokes the feeling. Just notice what you're experiencing in your body and your energy. Now I'd like you to ask, how can I be of service to that? Uh... Right. Now we're going to start the intergalactic seventh dimensional ascension activation. Again, you can say out louder in your head, I will receive this.
Beautiful. What I'd like you to do now is thank the seventh dimension. Thank the Andromeda and intergalactic beings of the light. Persisting in this amazing activation. Well, and now I'd like you to see it to the last second. I'd like you to ask the seventh dimension if it has a message for you. And now breathe that the energy of that in. You may have gotten words, a color, symbol, maybe just energy or feeling. And whatever you received is correct for you. Just breathe it in, use your entire body with it. Now I'd like you to ask the Andromeda and intergalactic beings of the light if they have a message for you. All right, and breathe that energy, whatever you received in your entire body, use your entire body of being with it. Let's just clear out everything that wouldn't allow that to be a reality. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, thanks so much. And drop it in to collect the light energy for their love. Okay. I'd like you to see a doorway with the number seven on it. Step out of the door. Close the door behind you. You ready? All right. Pressing your body, maybe giving it a little squeeze. I'm aware of it. In your own time, you can come back to sit in and open your eyes.
Mm. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I know everyone experienced something differently there, but just to share notes here, that's always really helpful because for those who kind of can't tune into it so much, to hear how we went through that is helpful. So uh, I can share personally that the sixth dimension was cool. It was swirly energy. Did you feel movement of energy? I usually experience swirly energy there. <laughs> yes, yes, very cool. And it was, it was one of ease and bliss. That's, that's really what I got. No need to really force. Uh, so I thought that was very interesting. And then the seventh dimension, completely different feeling there. That was very empowering. I mean, I could feel that as a very empowering vibration, buzz. Uh, interesting the messages too uh, from the seventh dimension uh, it's hard to articulate but it was almost as if the message from the seventh dimension is aligning to these frequencies which are right here I mean they're right here will purify what a beautiful experience here into the other dimensions I love how you explained the dimensional layers for us. So um, let's talk a little bit about the work that we can do with a special offer for star seeds. And this is to assist. And again, we go into all of the different varieties of the dimensional beings. Yeah, so, you know, I heard from so many people that I work with, they're like, oh, I don't know what the planet is, I don't know how to connect with other dimensional realms, I don't know how to, I'm not receiving guidance. I was like, well, let's, let's make that easy for you, because all, there is so much assistance available for you in healing, in guidance, in empowerment, in inspiration. And it's just there for you. So I put together this package where you can connect with all the different starseed races and really experience their experience, their guidance, receive messages from them, receive healing from them. And they start creating life here on this planet the way that life is created in those realms. Bliss, joy, ease, ex infinite expression. <laughs> so let's, let's talk about this. So item number one in the package is the Lear and Light Attunement. And in this, you receive an attunement to the Lear and Light Energy, which means to activate that for healing yourself and others. Or if you just want to use it for meditation or to evolve you. <laughs> Super high vibration, really peaceful, loving energy. And you'll also, in that uh, MP3, access the remembrance of where you came from and experience an illumination of your ease in your life. And item number two is the Learn Healing Transmission and Guide Attunement. So these, these first 12 items are, um, you know, items one and two are about the Learn. Item number one is the, um, again, the Lyran Light Attunement, but item number two is where you receive a healing from the Lyrans, and you, in this one, you actually receive a guide attunement, which means you are attuned and you receive the gift of the Lyran guide that will walk with you in your entire life. It's such an amazing gift for that came through. And you'll be able to receive messages from this guide and be infused with the Lyran healing energy. So items number three and four are from the Arcturians. So item number three are the Arcturian emissary to the life, energetic, and physical upgrade. So it'd be upgrading your physical body to new levels of light and energy, 
upgrade your energetic systems to vibrate at a new higher level in harmony with all of infinite consciousness. You can upgrade your DNA and clear out blockages from your energy meridian. So your body can, can heal and be vital and flowing and regenerate itself at a super fast rate. And then item number four is Arcturian guidance and healing. So you're going to connect with the Arcturian emissaries of light, and you'll be able to ask some questions and receive messages of them. And then you'll receive the healing energy from the Arcturian emissaries of light. <laughs> Items five and six are from the Orion elders of the Brotherhood of Light. So item number five is the Orion elders' uh, starlight activation. So you're going to be attuned to this energy called starlight energy flush. And you're going to learn how to run it to clear your body and energy systems. And you'll be able to run it on other people, too, just with a simple activation. You're going to experience a star connection so you can beam the light of the stars even more. Connection with all the stars. And you're going to receive an energetic healing for love, peace, harmony, and joy. Then number six is the Ryan Elder's guidance and healing. So you're going to connect with the Ryan Elders of the Brotherhood of the Light, ask some questions, receive messages, create amazing space for that. You also receive the healing energy of the Ryan Elders of the Brotherhood of the Light. Items number seven and eight are from the Andromedan Intergalactic Beings of the Light. So item number seven is the infinite flow transmission. Activate your life to be in the infinite flow. For every moment, you're just flowing. You're going to become connected to an infinite source of energy and receive a transmission for infinite ease. Then item number eight is the Andromedan guidance and healing. So you're going to connect with the Andromedan and collect the beings of the light, ask questions, receive messages, and then receive the healing energy from these beings. An amazing download of a healing transmission. Items number nine and ten are the Syrian Archangelic Legal of Item number nine is the Syrian Archangelic League of the Light's Sacred Geometric Activation. You're going to receive an active activation of the sacred geometric energy for transcendence, connection, and manifestation. You're going to also receive a powerful cube transmission to enhance your grounding. This activation changed my life. When it came through, I, I can imagine uh, that many of the people, <laughs> many of you, have had troubles with grounding. Some of you have a down pat. I bet a lot of you are still working on that. I've been working on that for 13 plus years. But when this came through, boom, I was just so instantly grounded and so stable in my body and centered. And it has stayed ever since, since this activation was done. So you're going to receive this powerful cube to enhance your grounding and really be more in your body. Then item number 10 is the guidance and healing transmission from the Syrians. So you're going to connect with them, ask them questions, receive messages, and receive, receive their healing energy. Items 11 and 12 are from the Pleiadian Emissaries of the Light. And so item number 11 is the Pleiadian Emissaries of the Light Infinite Bliss Activation. So you're going to eliminate resistance to the light and also eliminate your resistance to the light. You're going to be downloaded with Infinite Bliss and clear illness and disease from your body. And then item number 12 is the Pleading Guidance and Healing MP3. So you're going to connect with the Pleading Emissaries of Light, ask some questions, receive messages, receive a blissful transmission of healing energy from the Pleading Emissaries of Light. Item number 13 is the Infinite Bliss Activation. This is a video, and you'll connect with an infinite source of energy. Learn how to clear blocks to be infinitely blissful in every moment, and create your life from bliss. This is such a transformational activation. Item number 14 is integrating the infinite timeline. Integrating all of your energy and spiritual gifts from all your lifetime, past, present, parallel, and future. Integrating all of that energy all the gifts from all of that, so you have access to all of it now. And you'll that'll help you increase your personal power and experience more peace in your body. And number 15 is living beyond time, space, and dimension. This is where you're going to learn how to live limitlessly. 
I did a chant of Archangel Michael uh, many years ago. He said the dimensions are about this big in all of infinite. <laughs> so it's important to be able to navigate the dimensions, but also you know, to live that limitless life that that you desire of infinite ease, bliss, peace, and flow and manifestation for to embody all of them make consciousness. So you're gonna learn how to live limitlessly, learn how to play with changing time and space, and step into the space and power of being. I don't remember 16, it just keeps going. <laughs> the intergalactic healing activation. You're gonna receive and experience higher dimensional healing frequencies. Learn how to run higher dimensional healing energies for healing and meditation for both healing yourself and others. Some people use these energies to fall asleep. If you have trouble sleeping, this is a really great track to do. And connect with higher dimensional beings who guide Earth's evolution. Item number 17 is psychic journey. What this is, is you'll learn how to go deep into the quantum space for journeying and healing. You're also going to learn how to access a deep, deep state in minutes or less, even if you think you can't meditate. You're going to learn to receive healing from the Ascended Masters and your spirit guides in a totally new way. Item number 18, integrating your home planet energy. This is such an amazing experience because you get to learn where you came from you'll take a journey to your home planet and you don't need to know where that is you will just go there you're going to receive guidance from masters on your home planet and connect with your home planet energies so you can really those will be the most familiar to you and that's why you came to the Earth plane, to create the way you lived on your home planet. Create that, just start creating that for you in your life. Item number 19 is the Christ consciousness. You're going to activate yourself mastery. And then item number 20, save the best for last because this is my favorite. This is the Archangelic Infinite Love Transmission, Kundalini Awakening and Activation. This activation is, might be the most powerful I've ever done. It activates your the archangel should light your inner fire and 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 charge your energy up so strong so you can really have the energy to create whatever it is you came on this planet to create. You have the vitality, the energy, the inspiration, the manifestation here to create what it is you'd like to have uh, on this planet in and as your life. You'll also fill your body with the bliss of infinite love from the archangels and receive an archangelic light transmission. Super, super powerful. So the bonus, the bonus is the intro to the Starseed Master activation, and you'll also learn how to use the energy to attune to it. I mentioned you're going to get some attunements in these activations, and when you activate these energies, you can use them to heal yourself, heal others if you if you like working with other people. You can also use them to go into uh, healing states meditation and also help you fall asleep. So all in all, that's 13 MP3s, 7 video, and 2 PDFs. It's normally uh, $1,598 if you purchase all those separately. But today for, for this amazing audience, it's only $127. Thank you for that, Micaiah. What an incredible body of work of activations and attunements to really connect us multidimensionally to help these remembrances of our heritage, of our beingness, of our galacticness. That is really very helpful and beautiful for us to work with these programs. And there's so many of them. How would you suggest people work with them on a regular basis and then integrate them. Do we just run all through those or is there a, a time period to integrate? What do you suggest? Ah, that's a great question. It is all explained in the bonus PDF, the Starseed activation. Uh, great. The, the first 12 are meant 
be done in order. And the last one, um, items number 13 through 19, you can do whenever you want. You want to do no more of the shorter ones, items number one through 12, uh, no more than six a day. And items number 13 through 19, you only want to do one of those a day because you really want to give your body time to integrate all these energies. And I do recommend saving item number 20, the Archangel Kundalini activation until last. It is, it is so powerful that you really want to have all those other energies integrated before you take that jump into the next level. Yes, okay. Thank you for that. Can you share a little bit about some of the, maybe some of your experiences as you integrated the light in your body? Um, I know that sometimes we could get dizzy or maybe not. I mean, what's the best way? Sleep, water, just being gentle, rest, exercise. You know, Accelerated light healing is different from a lot of healing systems. Now, when I started out with energy healing 13 years ago, I learned Reiki. And my teacher said, you're going to get a healing, you're going to feel great, you're going to bliss out, and then you're going to get sick for three days. Well, your physical body catches up to your new spiritual vibration. But then after that, you're going to feel really great. And I'm like, I don't want to get sick for three days. Yeah, <laughs> Why right. would I want to go get a healing if I'm going to get sick afterwards? But... You know, that was the fastest tools we had at the time. Accelerated light healing doesn't have a detoxification or a healing crisis afterward because it has energies built in that automatically jump your physical body to your new spiritual higher vibration instantaneously as soon as you receive these energies. So you're already at that new higher level. So, you know you may find that you're really super blissed out and relaxed and don't want to do things like work or go to the gym for a little while. And that's fine. You know, just listen to your body. If your body wants to relax, lay down, sleep, go outside into nature, just let your body be your guide on that. But there won't be a time period where you are forced to do anything because your body is drained you will have the energy and you'll be a conscious choice during that to do whatever it is that you would like. Yeah, this is why it's so empowering and um, it's just ease and grace. It's blissful. Thank you. And we can see with your face, the light that you shine through your beingness and the joy that you emanate in this moment. It's beautiful. So it's wonderful to have these tools that allow the rest of us to get there too and to really tap into our multidimensionality. Definitely. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, I want to just thank you for that, Makaya Miracle, for the time today, for the activations today. And as we say goodbye, I just want to give you a moment to add anything that we didn't get to. Thank you. You know, I've been journey, on this journey a long time, as I know many of you have. And I'm sure there have been things that were easy, and there were things that were really hard. But at some deep level, you have a knowing of why you're here. It might not be conscious. It might be conscious. And if you haven't fully manifested that, no reason to beat yourself up for that. <laughs> We're changing the timeline of this entire planet. We're changing the energy field of this entire planet. And you just by existing and receiving these energies just from the activation today, and if you've been with Loren, you're receiving lots of healing energies, but you know, just by you embodying these energies, you're already changing. So thank you for that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for radiating energies of peace, love, life, higher consciousness, ascension, ease, joy, and healing to the world because you doing that makes the entire world a better place. Thank you. I love you so much, and I'm so happy that you're here on this planet to share this gift of this amazing time that we're in. Thank you. Thank you, Makaya Miracle. Really, it is beautiful and comforting to hear those words 
just by our being here and anchoring these energies, we are changing the world. Thank you for the work that you do. I'm in gratitude to you. And thank you for this quantum conversation. Thank you.